the Southern Cross, a celestial compass, and a treasure trove of cosmic wonders. But did you know it hides a fiery red giant bigger than you can imagine? A young star cluster, and even a mysterious planet orbiting one of its stars. And here's a twist. Did you know this iconic constellation was once visible in the Northern Hemisphere? What caused it to vanish from Northern skies forever? Stick around and let's see them up close. The Crux Constellation means the cross in Latin. In English, the constellation is known as the Southern Cross, is one of the most easily recognized and historically significant constellations in the southern sky. Ancient Greeks considered Crux to be a part of the constellation Centaurus. Greeks were able to see Crux before its stars dropped below the horizon for Europe and most of the Northern Hemisphere. Some saw significance in this, linking the disappearance of the celestial cross from the sky to the crucifixion of Christ. They were entirely visible as far north as Britain in the 4th millennium BCE. However, the precession of the equinoxes gradually lowered the stars below the European horizon, and they were eventually forgotten by the inhabitants of northern latitudes. Precession is the third discovered movement of Earth, is a slow movement of the axis around which our planet rotates is caused by gravitational forces exerted by the Sun and the Moon on the Earth's equatorial bulge. Over a cycle that lasts approximately 26,000 years, this wobble causes the positions of the stars to shift in the sky in a gradual, cyclic manner. Even though its stars were charted on most celestial globes, it was not until 1679 that it became a constellation in its own right. The constellation was not visible from most of Europe anymore, and Europeans did not rediscover Crux until the great naval expeditions of the late 15th and early 16th century. Navigators and explorers from Europe, such as Amerigo Vespucci, Andrea Corsali, and Joan de Farras, prominently documented the Southern Cross during their voyages. Joan de Farras, an astronomer in the squadron of Pedro Alvarez Cabral, is credited with creating one of the earliest European diagrams of this constellation in 1500 from Brazil. Crux has one star with known planets and contains no Messier objects. The Southern Cross occupies a small area of our night sky and is the smallest among the 88 modern constellations recognized by the International Astronomical Union. Positioned between the constellations of Centaurus to the east, west, and north, and Musca to the south, on the celestial sphere, Crux is exactly opposite the constellation Cassiopeia. Crux is not visible north of 20 degrees in the Northern Hemisphere, and it is circumpolar south of 34 degrees south, which means that it never sets below the horizon. It means that sometimes it can be seen sideways or upside down, depending on the month and time of night. By locating the constellation, one can easily find the celestial south pole by counting four times the length between the stars on the longest arm of the cross. The constellation is associated with a number of stories and it figures prominently in different mythologies in the Southern Hemisphere, appearing on several national flags, including those of Australia, Brazil, New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, and Samoa. The Southern Cross formed by its five brightest stars, Dacrux, Acrux, Mimosa, Imai, Genon, and there is another star outside the main ones that has relevance, known as Tupa. Let's get to know the stars closer.
From another perspective, the constellations are not aligned as they appear to be when viewed from Earth. The stars in the Southern Cross are actually at varied positions in the galaxy. They stand out in our sky because they are so bright, but there are many other stars in their vicinity. Gakrux, at the top of the constellation and appearing as part of the largest arm of the cross, is a red giant and is actually one of the closest such stars to Earth at 88 light years away. Gakrux is a giant star, 78 times larger than the Sun. This is huge because it is expanding its outer layers. Despite its size, it has less than twice the mass of the Sun. It is about 760 times more luminous than the Sun due to its expansion, but its surface temperature reaches 3700 degrees Celsius, making it colder than our star. Genin, or Epsilon Crux, is an orange giant 28 times the size of the Sun, 150 times as bright and nearly twice as massive. Genon is 230 light-years from Earth, about halfway between its neighboring stars. Acrux is actually a multiple system, composed of at least three stars distinguishable by telescopes. Acrux AA is a very massive and bright blue subgiant. Despite not being the biggest star in the constellation, it has 14 times the solar mass, its surface temperature reaches 29,000 degrees Celsius, and its brightness is 4,000 times greater than that of the Sun. The other two stars are also giants, averaging three times the size of the Sun, 10 times as massive, and 300 times as bright. The Acrux system is 320 light-years from Earth. Mimosa, or Beta Crux, is the second brightest star in the Southern Cross, is 300 light-years from Earth. Beta Crux is a blue giant seven times the size of the Sun and 20 times as massive. Its outer region radiates 34,000 times more energy than the Sun and reaches a temperature of 29,000 degrees Celsius. Beta Crux rotates on its axis with great speed, reaching 430,000 kilometers per hour and completing a revolution in less than four Earth days. This produces strong stellar winds, causing it to lose a mass equivalent to one sun every 100 million years. Emi, or Delta Crux, is five times bigger than the sun and almost nine times more massive. Delta Crux radiates 10,000 times more luminosity than the Sun and has a surface temperature of 20,000 degrees Celsius. Viewed from Earth, Delta Crux is the dimmest of the major stars and is 350 light-years away. It is evolving into a red giant and then becoming a white dwarf. The Sun will have a similar fate. Tupa is a main-sequence star very similar to the Sun, class F or G, and it is at approximately 124 light-years. It has a mass of 1.18 solar masses and a diameter 15% larger than that of the Sun. It is 70% brighter, at an effective temperature of 10,800 degrees Celsius, which gives it the yellow-white coloration typical of class F stars. In 2000, the discovery of an extrasolar planet orbiting Tupa was announced and was formally published in 2002.
Tumay Arandu is a gas giant with a minimum mass of 26% that of Jupiter, and about the same size. It orbits the star in a highly eccentric orbit. It takes 10.9 days to complete one orbit of its star, and it's very close to the star, at 0.1 astronomical units from Tupa, its star. In total, more than 50 stars are part of the Southern Cross and are scattered in regions close to the constellation. There's a detail in this constellation. When we observe from Earth, in the direction of the constellation, there is a famous star cluster, NGC 4755, known as the Jewel Box Cluster. This cluster is visible from Earth, but it is at a much greater distance than the visible stars of the constellation. This star cluster is one of the youngest and brightest clusters visible from Earth. The Jewel Box Cluster is situated about 6,440 light years away and is easily observable with binoculars or a small telescope, making it a favorite among amateur astronomers. The cluster contains over 100 stars, including supergiants and bright stars of various colors, predominantly blue, white, and red. Even visible from Earth, it is very far from the main stars of the constellation. All 88 modern constellations we've created are part of a tiny dot in our galaxy. We see a small fraction of the existing stars. If you enjoyed this journey, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more journeys into space consider supporting the channel by becoming a member, sending a thanks to help keep these journeys going. Got a destination in mind? Share it in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you on the next flight.